Hello. It's good to see you. Today I had to go back to Aldi. Um, I was looking for acetaminophen. And while I was in there, um, I thought I would grab a few things. While I was walking around, I just took my phone and just took a few pictures of the shelves. It's really not all that different from last time I was in there, just a few days ago. But I thought I would show you what it looks like. So here with this first picture, this was the pasta section. You can see there's one little lone box of rotini sitting there all by itself. The rest of the dry pasta was gone. Um, they did have some spaghetti sauce over there to the right. You can see them sitting there, but um, like all the spaghetti and elbow macaroni, um, all that stuff was, was gone. And then in this next picture, you can see that um, they have a limit of four on the canned products. All of the beans were gone. All the canned beans were gone. And it made me think of, um, my dad used to tell my brother and me these stories. And it seemed random, but I'm sure something triggered them. It w My brother and I called them the bean stories. And he would sit us down and he would tell us, one of these days, you're going to eat beans and that's going to be all you have. And you're going to be happy you have them. And you're going to eat your beans and like them. And he was very, very uh, passionate about it. He would tell us, you know, one of these days, that's all you're going to have to eat. And you're going to be grateful for it. And I guess that day has come. Look, we're out of beans. I guess other people are having uh, bean days. I don't know. I'm saying, though, I don't know that eating beans and being stuck in the house all day is a good idea, but oh, we'll move on. Then the next one, look, all the Vienna sausages are gone. Look at that. Now, they did have some tuna salad over there next to it on the right and some uh, beef stew. They had plenty of that. But the little things, the Vienna sausages are gone. Yes, I know it's Vienna, but around here it's pronounced Vienna. And it, it sounds weird to say it any other way. These are the Brookdale Vienna Sausages, which is an Aldi brand. Oh, but look at the Spam. Look at the knockoff Spam and the knockoff Treat over there. That reddish, that dark red can. You can't see the front of it. Um, I think that's deviled ham or corned beef or something. I don't know. But the Brookdale luncheon meat is like spam. You can see they have it on a sandwich there in the picture with lettuce and tomato, like that's going to make it okay or something. Oh, and it's on wheat bread, of course, because, oh, totally, if you're eating this stuff, of course that's the way you're going to eat it. You're not totally just going to fry it and stand there eating it at the stove while wearing your pajamas. You're totally not going to do that. But you can see there's an empty case of it back there behind there. People are scarfing down the spam. Oh, and this, yeah, they had up these signs all over, and I'm really glad they were limiting things. I mentioned in a video I did earlier um, that there was a guy that came in and tried to buy all of the dog food that they had, and they would not allow him to do it. And he said, well, I can, they're not, they don't have limits on stuff at the Walmart. And the cashier said, well, then go to Walmart. And he said, well, they're out over there. I couldn't get any. And she said, exactly. They need to be putting limits on this stuff. Um, so you can get four of each kind on all of the canned products. And all of the macaroni and cheese is gone. Now, I've showed this in some of the Aldi haul videos before. Um, the, uh, the little, it's like a Velveeta shells and cheese. It's actually not bad. It's pretty decent. Um, I did, I meant to mention this, one thing I did notice is that since I was last there a few days ago, the prices have have jumped. And I'm totally fine with that. I totally get it. But it seemed like the price of pretty much everything I looked at had gone up. Those shells and cheese were 99 cents the last time I was in there. Or 95 cents. It was less than a dollar. Now they're a dollar fifteen. But it doesn't matter because they're out. But you will see over to the right that they do have some of the organic macaroni and cheese. So all the macaroni and cheese is not gone. It's just that the cheap stuff is gone. And interesting to note, the mayonnaise has been wiped out except for that um, reduced fat mayonnaise. Lord, they had a ton of that. Look, at that's the kind with the green lids. That's reduced fat. I guess we want the full fat mayonnaise. I mean, if you're going to eat it, you might as well. All of the Duke's mayonnaise was gone. 
and the Berman's mayonnaise, which is um, the Aldi brand. I totally get it because if I had to buy mayonnaise, I'd get Dukes myself. That's If you live in the South, we're very passionate about our mayonnaise. Uh, I've come from a Duke's family. Some people like Hellman's and then the Heathens like the Miracle Whip or the Kraft dressing. No, Duke's is the way to go. And the jelly was gone. The Berry Hill Grape Jelly, which I think I've shown in an Aldi haul before. Um, it's a pretty good sized thing. It's a big 30 ounce bucket of jelly, basically. It was all gone. I don't know that I got a picture of the peanut butter, but um, no, I think they had peanut butter, but the, the jelly was completely wiped out. Okay, and now this is over on the cereal aisle in the breakfast section. Now, you do see down there they have a lot of granola bars. Um, they had toaster tarts, pop tarts, um, the chewy chocolate chip granola stuff. They had plenty of that, but the Millville Old Fashioned Oats were almost gone. There were a couple of those. You can see one over on the left. The Millville Quick Oats were gone, and the Quick Grits were all gone. The grits are over there on the right. Um, and I think that's the only kind of grits they have is the Millville Quick Grits. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried them, so I don't know if they're any good or not. Um, but yeah, so all that was gone. I did notice that they had plenty of cereal, too. So that was interesting. And typical... <laughs> I'm not bashing the USA, but it is funny how there were totally, there were tons of fruits and vegetables. No limits on that. You could get all of that you want. Um, but I will say, you know, all, I, all these vegetables and fruits to me are kind of hit and miss. Now, they are cheap. I mean, look how cheap they are. You can get uh, butternut squash for 99 cents a pound. Um, the corn over there, the four ears of corn is only about $2. It's really cheap. The only problem is, it seems like about half the time, I get it home, and within 24 hours, it's gone bad. So, maybe other people have experienced that and don't want to get it, but it was just funny. that I get over to that section, it's fully stocked. Um, oh, I had to show you this. This is the AOS, the Isle of Shame. It's fully stocked. It looks a little chaotic, but that's actually pretty normal. Um... Yeah, you can see in my cart there, my gravy. I went in there to get turkey gravy. I don't know why, I just wanted some. They have these little jars of turkey gravy, and it's really good. There was a limit of four, so of course I only got four, but um, I got some gravy and some pretzels. Um, but yeah, I, there wasn't really anything remarkably interesting on the Isle of Shame. I just thought I would show it to you. It hasn't been wiped out. Oh, and this is interesting. Um, I don't know if you've thought about it, but... You might be, you know, you could use part of your spare time to start a little garden, like a vegetable garden or something. They, I noticed a lot of their packets of seeds were gone. They had some peppers and some pumpkin seeds and lettuce and carrots. So, I mean, you could get some. They had a bunch before, but it looks like a lot of people have bought the seeds. A lot of them are gone. They had vegetable and herb seed packets. And they're 59 cents each. Now, in my store, these were on the AOS, the Isle of Shame. It may be different in your store if you go there. But yeah, it might be, it might be fun to plant a little garden if you're stuck at home. Oh, and here's the rice. Yeah, a lot of the rice was gone. Now, you do see they have one box of instant white rice. Plenty of the instant brown rice. And they had some white bas basmali rice. Sorry, I don't buy Molly. I don't know what that is. The rest of it is gone. You can look back there and see there are just some random grains of rice just hanging out on the shelf. Um, the rice just has looked this way for about a week and a half now. It's been wiped out. And they had a limit of one on all the baby wipes. And they had plenty, actually, because there's a limit on them, I'm sure. And I was glad to see they had diapers and diaper wipes. So if if you have a little one and you need that stuff and you have and you have an Aldi near you and you haven't looked there, it might be worth going to check. Now you can't call them and ask them if they have anything. They don't do that. You have to go look. But if you're having trouble finding this stuff, Aldi might be a place to check if you have one nearby. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, that was the paper towel section. 
Now this is not the Aldi we made a video in before. This is one of our other Aldis. And they did have a limit of one paper product per person, per order. Um, all the paper towels, or sorry, that's toilet paper. They did have some paper towels, but they were totally out of toilet paper. Um, up there on that shelf above there, they did have some packs of batteries, which is something that people are not stocking up on at this point. It might not hurt, and this is just my suggestion, it might not hurt to stock up on some batteries right now while you still can. I have a feeling it may, they may come in handy later. I might be totally wrong you, and you're stuck with batteries, but they're still out there and you can still get them. It might not hurt to pick up some batteries. I've, I've done that. I've stocked up on batteries. And for the medication, they had a limit of two on all um, medications like vitamins or ibuprofen or whatever. Um, they were running low on cotton swabs. All of the liquid soap and hand sanitizer was gone. And this here is a picture of the paper products again. You can see there's paper towels there and napkins and plates. Um, but again, you see that there's a limit of one on all paper products, no matter what they are. And these are, okay, over here, this was another section that had some paper towels in it and the disinfecting wipes. All the disinfecting wipes are gone. The multi-packs of these, um, no, you know what, that was toilet paper, right? For some reason, there was a little section with toilet paper right next to the trash bags. And it looks like a lot of the cleaning products are gone. They have some, but they're out of quite a few. And the liquid, um, dishwashing liquid, a lot of that was gone too. Now this, it looks like a lot of people are taking and baking. And that's not like code for anything. That you know, These are the take and bake pizzas. That's what they call them, take and bake. Um, they're not frozen. They just keep them refrigerated. And they're just, you know, prepared little pizzas and calzones and things like that. A whole lot of those are gone. I see the cauliflower pizzas are there, and nobody wanted those. The mega meat pizzas up there, they are massive. Those pizzas are huge, and they're only $5.99, and they're gigantic. And they have uh, sausage and um, pepperoni and ham, I think, on them, or hamburger. I can't remember. I got one one time, and the kids liked it okay, but it was really big. Um, okay, and this is the meat section. You can see um, it's pretty wiped out. It wasn't like this when I went in the other one uh, last week. Um, looks like there's some salmon. Some of the higher priced stuff is still there. All the ground beef is gone. The packs of chicken are gone. If you notice in that upper left hand corner there, there's plenty of ground turkey. Like nobody, <laughs> even in the midst of all this, nobody wants the poor ground turkey. Ground turkey is pretty awesome, actually. It's I use it sometimes when I'm making things. It's okay. Oh, and here is the sugar and the flour. The sugar is all gone. And this time, they, well, they did have a little flour, but it's been hit pretty hard, too. I was thinking about it. One thing good that might come out of this is a few people might learn how to cook or at least, you know, learn some basics about cooking. That wouldn't be a totally bad thing. And then all the evaporated milk was gone. They had the sweetened condensed milk, but the Baker's Corner evaporated milk is all gone. They do have a limit of four on that as well. And this was interesting to me. The yellow cake mix was all gone, and I wish I had zoomed out a little more to show you. All the other cake mixes were fine. They weren't picked over, but all of the yellow cake mix is gone. I don't know, maybe there's a Maybe there's something going around like it protects you from something. I don't know. It's really weird. Maybe you can mix it with cement mix and make a mask out of it. I don't know, but people got really excited about making yellow cake for some reason, but not the other cakes. All the cakes, icings, cookie mixes, all that were fine. The yellow cake was just gone. What is this? Oh, this is the oil. Okay, you see down here we have uh, vegetable oil. Two things of vegetable oil. Oh, the first one was a gallon size for four thirty nine, and then a smaller one for one sixty nine. And the canola oil is all gone. Over there on the right, though, you'll see they did have some corn oil. They did still have some of that, 
um, but all the rest of the oil was gone. Except they did, they did have um, olive oil, but that's up on another shelf. It's too good to sit down here with these oils. It sits up higher on a shelf because it's snooty like that. But they had plenty of olive oil. There's the corn oil again, just sitting there. It's, it's slid back like it's scared, like they're all huddled together. Like, please, <laughs> please don't take us. Um, oh, and this was the um, the water, the, the bottled water. The, the little waters, the individual waters were all gone. They did have some gallons of water. Um, but there was a limit of one thing of water per order. So you can only get one. And then there was a limit of two on all milk products, whatever you wanted to get. You could only get two of the milks. And I noticed that the milk price has almost doubled, well, at least on the gallons. It was $1.25 a gallon, and now, actually, I can't remember, was it two thirty nine? I think it was two thirty nine. It may be in another, no, it's not in another picture. Um, yeah, the milk price jumped quite a bit. But yeah, there was there was plenty there was plenty of milk, but you could only get two. And and I'm again I'm really glad they're doing that to keep people from wiping it out. All of the cheap hot dogs were gone. The seventy nine cent packs of Parkview hot dogs were all gone. You see, they have rollers on those slanted shelves, so they can be in the back back there and just slide them down. They did have the um, what are they? Um, the Nathan's hot dogs. They had plenty of those. The, it seems like a lot of what's gone is the less expensive stuff. You know, people can buy more that way, I understand. And the biscuits, Lord, the biscuits, look. All the canned biscuits are gone. They had some of the crescent rolls, I think, but the Bakehouse Creations, Jumbo Flaky Biscuits, and the Buttermilk Biscuits are all gone, the little tubes. Now, if you're not from the USA, that's not a cookie. It's, it's kind of like a scone, but it's not sweet. It's a bread product. And you can buy these tubes of it, and it's this dough, and you just put it on a pan, and you bake it, and you get biscuits that way. They're not bad, but I've never been a big fan of canned biscuits. They just, they taste weird to me. And the burritos are all gone. They had the Casa Mamita 8-pack of burritos. And again, you're stuck indoors. I don't know about that, but somebody is going to chow down on a whole bunch of burritos for two seventy five. They were all gone. So, no burritos for us. I didn't want any. I just happened to notice it. And this was, I don't know, this was funny to me. I was walking up towards the register, and I happened to notice, I happened to notice this little cart sitting there, and it says heartburn meds. Heartburn med, this cart, only three twenty-five. And so they have the omeprazole sitting there, and somebody threw in a bag of chilies in the... <laughs> In the cart, I don't. I just thought it was funny that that one little bag of chilies <laughs> sitting in there with the heartburn medicine. I don't. I don't know. I just thought I would show it. To, show it to you. Okay. So they did not have the uh, acetaminophen I needed, so I stopped by Dollar Tree really quick and ran in to get the um, acetaminophen. And I wanted to show you the OTC, the over-the-counter medications. And here it is. Um, Actually, it was fine, and they didn't have any limits on anything. People are not buying this stuff, at least here. Well, you know, they're still in some stores, apparently. So, again, my advice would be it wouldn't hurt, if you can, to go out and get some ibuprofen or acetaminophen, you know, or any over-the-counter stuff that you use on a regular basis. It might not be a bad idea to go get it if you can and if it if it's available that might be another thing that it wouldn't hurt to get while you can oh and here you can see this is where the uh rubbing alcohol and the hydrogen peroxide were um yeah it's it's all it's completely wiped out there's one little long bottle of witch hazel and it looks like there's a pack of band-aids on the floor that passed out and the other one's trying to get it to get up and it's not having any luck. It's passed out face down. and It's just a sad day in that section of the Dollar Tree. But anyway, that's just a little look at some of the shelves and the way they look today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. 
And wherever you are, I hope things are going all right. Just hang in there, and it's going to be okay. If In the end, it's going to be all right. And if it's not all right, it's not the end yet. So I hope you have a good day, and I will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.